Alright guys, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, so today we're gonna go over creating the, I mean putting the animations in, in the game itself. So this is Mario I have so far, I have all the other characters too, I'll have them on screen here. So um, alright, so I'm gonna only cover create doing the animations of Mario, as well as the rotation, I never included that, but I did, I saved it for there. So let's go, let's close this. Don't save. So we're on Mario right now. Let's drag this file in. And we can now delete the mesh. Now here she is. So we want to make it local. So make local. And then we want to rotate her. So go to transform. Rotation on Y. 180. So she faces away from the camera. And then, so we're gonna use a animation tree. All right. So with an animation tree, you have different ways to use animations. So you could try out all of these, but the blend tree includes all of the other trees. So let's just go with blend tree. And then we have to select the animation player that all the animations are in. So now. What do we have? So we have idle running, we have jumping, we have the three attacks. So let's go with a blend space. So right click and then use a blend space 1D. So that means you only go from zero to one or, you know, and you can open it. And now we can set this to be one, I mean zero, right down here. So it's going to want to be zero to one. And at zero, we will have the, uh, we go click here, create points, click on that one, add the idle animation, and then go all the way up to this side, click here, then add the running animation. And then we see, we can hit this to go back. So now we have this, so we could call it maybe move state. And we could test it out. Just connect it directly here. The save. I right click save. And we go here. And go back. Make click on the animation tree again, and make sure it's active. And then in the animation player, go to the running animation, and make sure it's set to loop in here. Then set it back to L, and then go back to the animation tree. So now we can check it here. Set this to one. See that she runs. Now we can drag it so she slowly stops. Or I could put it halfway so she kind of walks or all the way to run. So let's set that to zero for now. Now we need to add jumping. So the way we're gonna do that is with a transition. Where is it? Transitions. So transitions are kind of tricky to work with. Um, so you click on, click on it here, go into the inspector, set the amount of transitions you have. So we have we currently have grounded. So let's say they use uh two for now, and then you have to name them. So let's say on floor, and then say jump in. Then you have to connect it to here and they'll appear in here. So let's disconnect that first. Right here, connect to here. Here you go. And we can connect this back. Now we add a animation and change that to jumping. So we click on here. And now we have a jumping animation. So whenever we press switch to it, it's gonna play the jump animation. And go back to that one and switch back to this. All right. So now we need to add a attack. So let's go to another transition. We're gonna make these all of these attacks like three, and we're gonna blend it in with here. So let's click on here. So we have three attacks. So let's create three transitions. So we could call this one attack one. And this one we could call 
attack two. And this one, attack three. And then we right click again, create a blend two. So you see that appears. Then we want to blend this one in here. Call this attacks. Attacks. And then we blend it with this. This here. Blend it here. So let's add the attacks to here. So right click animation, attack one, put it there. Right click animation, attack two, just add them in. Attack three, just stick them in here. All right. So here. We're gonna go to the filters so with this we're gonna enable moving you know while we're running we could like instead of it stopping and we could switch it and switch it again we're gonna let it allow her to be moving while she's with her legs would be running so going to filters enable filtering then we're gonna hit the root, the rib, the chest, the shoulders, the hands, the fingers, all the upper sections. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, let's go neck and head as well. And see, okay. So now you could see what happens. So when you blend it, it plays that. You switch to that one, plays that to that one plays that all oh, while she's running you could stop her from running remember this is always the one so she could be idling same difference let's play one play two let's play three all right so we should make this a one shot as well but all right that should be everything so now we're gonna go in code and implement everything so let's straighten this up a bit need to give everything proper names so let's call this uh grounded eight maybe and then we could call this attack blend and we could call this one where is it where is it and then we have move state so to click on here and you'll see parameters so we need to get all of these in code Let's get a reference to the animation tree. So on ready for animation, just call it animator. Animator. Oops. And equals animation tree. All right. Let's make sure I get the right copy. Let's create a function called animate. So, chunk animate. All right. So now, let's pass it. Make sure we call it in the six process. Put it right here. Animate. Okay. So now we need to check different stuff here so if is jump is let me see velocity velocity dot x i mean velocity dot length created in 0 0.1 see animator 
Oops. Animator. Dot. Set. Need to get the name. Um. What did we call it over here? Move state. Do I have to say move state? Move state dash blend position. So blend underscore position. Then we set it to one. We can say else animator the set same thing again move state dash blend position and zero all right let's test that out so save go to world to the player there run And, and we bugged it up so we need to figure it out plus i need to do the um the animation as well so let's let me open up actually i don't need to mm. let's see Should be working. Oh, let's set this back to zero. So we need to always check this as well. Let's try that again. That means we didn't um didn't set it right. Just click on your blend position. So parameters move state blend position. Okay, so I have to say parameters. So parameters Oops Gosh. Oops All right There you go Stops, run as again. Alright, so since we're here, let's work on rotations. Let me pull up. Ah, I don't need to pull up. So we need to have a rotation target. So let's say var uh, target rotation. I set it to vector three. All right, let's grab onto that. So the way you get um, where could I put this? Let's put it right here. Let's go the rotation. So to rotate, we first need to set it to be smooth. So we want it to lurk. Well, first we set it to here. Yeah. So lerp. So we want to lerp from our global transform. That origin. To global transform. Dot origin. To plus actually plus velocity. And then set it to maybe a small number, 0 0.2. So the way we do this is we sell it to look at the position plus its current trajectory. So now we could say, well, first of all, we need to set the target rotations Y position to be equals to um its current position. So to prevent like rotating on X. So set it to be equal to transform global transform 
dot origin dot y so now we could say look at target position target rotation sorry and then say vector 3 dot up and now we should rotate in the direction we're running uh, yep. Oop, I died. All right. Oh, one more thing. We only need to do this if he's actually moving. So we have to say if velocity dot length greater than maybe zero point one. Then we do it. That's why you see that snappy looking thing so much. So there you go. Alright. So now we need to implement jumping. Alright, let's implement jumping. Alright, let's go back down here. Animate. So if y velocity, remember we have that y velocity dot y greater than zero or yeah greater than zero, then we need to get the animator animator set. Parameters. Let's see where is it. Um, move grounded state. So parameters grounded state current. So parameters grounded state. That current whoops current so equals to what's the different ones we have jump in and on floor so let's say jump in then we say else and meter let's just copy this Jump in. Oops, need to have that there. The on floor. On floor. This isn't gonna work, so let's change this to if not is on floor. All right. So let's try that out. Nope. Doesn't work because I may have messed up the uh this thing I messed up. So grounded state. Let's see. Let's see what it is. Good. Try something. I think it's um zero and one maybe. There's one zero. Yep. Uses All right. You can see guys. That should be it. Alright guys, so I'm gonna do the attack animations off camera and I'll just show you in the next tutorial. So take care guys.